How often do you find yourself looking up an online review before buying a product or service? With such easy access to the internet, this practice is very commonplace now. Yelp is an online website that is known by just about everyone for being something where you can leave a anybody can leave a review for just about any business that's out there. In theory, Yelp is a great way to get the general consensus of whether a business is good or not. However, in practice, Yelp just ends up highlighting the worst experiences, as well as giving an alleged advantages to businesses that cooperate and work with Yelp and disadvantages to those that don't. This alleged advantage is highlighted in the recently released documentary, Billion Dollar Bully. In Billion Dollar Bully, many business owners who believe that they were targeted by Yelp for not purchasing ads on their site give their experience with positive reviews allegedly being taken down for being fake, while negative reviews are allowed to flood in. Due to the instantaneous nature of the internet, the average consumer is able to give their immediate thoughts and knee-jerk reactions to anything they want. While they would still be able to do this without Yelp, Yelp exacerbates their ability to do so by giving them a public forum to do it on. According to FastCompany.com, since the release of the documentary, Yelp has bought the domain BillionDollarBully.com and used it in an attempt to debunk conspiracy theories and save face for themselves. According to a different BuzzFeed article, which is touted by Yelp themselves on said BillionDollarBully.com website, a simple half-star difference gives the restaurant with the advantage 19% better chances of being busy during peak hours. Independent businesses are also more affected by Yelp reviews than chain businesses simply because chain businesses are something that everybody knows about and an independent business needs every good customer that they can get. Complaints about false reviews have even been said to take months to be acted upon by Yelp themselves and if an attempt is made to contact Yelp about it, they're typically met with an ad salesperson trying to sell them ad space on Yelp.com. In this same BuzzFeed article, an elite Yelper, or someone who basically just goes around to businesses and Yelps about them, claims that although he leaves a Yelp review everywhere he goes, he very rarely reads Yelp reviews himself, just because they've gotten to a point where they're so oversaturated with reviews. These are all reasons to avoid Yelp. So with that in mind, here is how one might be able to live without Yelp. The first solution I could come up with to try to get around it is to simply go to businesses yourself and try to make your own decisions about them. Everybody is different, and one customer having a bad experience there might just be because of them. I decided to speak on this subject because I recently saw in a tweet of the most ridiculous Yelp I've ever seen, in which two women go to a subway and say it was their last resort for trying to get sandwiches before a graduation party, and it took the subway, I think, an hour to make like 60 sandwiches or something like that. It was ridiculous. Another solution I have is to ask people you know in real life about their experiences at the business. While they are random customers just the same as any Yelp reviewer would be, they generally don't really have a motive to lie about their experience at the business. And lastly, if you do not know anybody who has gone to the business you're looking into, and if you absolutely must use a service like this, I would suggest try using Foursquare, which is something I found online on techboomers.com. Um, several important differences between Yelp and Foursquare are things like Foursquare asks you a series of questions about the business before a review can be submitted. So it's kind of like a little, another barrier between the review and the business. Um, another difference would be the users being limited to up to 200 characters and the reviews, instead of being reviews, are called tips about the business in question. So it's m more of like, it's less of a negative thing, where a review kind of ha can have a negative connotation and a tip has more of a positive connotation. Uh, here's how a Yelpless world would be better off, in my opinion. As a consumer, you might be robbed of experiences that you would have missed otherwise because of Yelp if you're just solely going based off of negative Yelp reviews. Like I said before, everybody is different, so you might have a good experience with whatever company someone else was complaining about. Furthermore, not every business is bad just because some people had ex bad experience there. Another way that it'll be, the world could be better is that business owners will be treated less unfairly just because one rotten customer had a massive negative impact on their business. Anybody who's worked in the real world can say that customers can be real jerks sometimes, so 
Yeah. Um, and lastly, I just wanted to close up by saying that um, I want to request that all of you not use Yelp, and if you still try to use it in the future, then just try to take all of the reviews that you read on it with more of a grain of salt. Thank you. Have a good summer.